After a two-year-long break from game development, I have recently started to feel the itch to make games again, and today I'm glad to be sharing with you the initial developments on a brand new game dev project. So let's start from the genesis of the project itself, from what sparkled the idea of working on a new game, before moving on to what I'd like the project to be about, my current setup, and finally a short demo of what I've got so far. These past few years have been particularly busy on my side as I completed my PhD, I moved to a new apartment, and I've started a new job, which meant I had to momentarily put aside my creative projects. I have now finally found a better work-life balance, and I'm in a situation where I feel I have enough time and energy to work on a new game project again. So what is the game about? The game for which I don't have a name yet, so feel free to drop your name suggestions in the comment section down below. Um, the game is going to be a traditional 2D top-down turn-based RPG, but based in a more modern, recent future setting. In terms of the art style, I'm going for pixel art sprites and tile sets to give a nice little retro feel to it. Recently, I've been itching for a classic turn-based RPG, but in a more futuristic setting, and a game that I loved playing last year that somewhat scratches that itch is a game called Metal Max Xeno Reborn. You are thrown in a post-apocalyptic setting with fully customizable tanks, and while the game is 3D, battles occur on the map in a classic turn-based fashion. I also love the exploration and non-linearity of the game, so that has led me to a rabbit hole that is Metal Max as a whole, and even though I haven't played the older games yet, I love the idea of a non-linear turn-based RPG in a somewhat non-classic setting. So the game is going to focus more on the turn-based gameplay, on customization and on giving a sense of freedom to the player uh, versus actually delivering a story. I would also love to focus on exploration by creating a world that's made of small but interconnected maps with several different routes um, that are all accessible from the start. A good example of this would be the two Octopath Traveler games and maybe something like Final Fantasy XII in the way that the map is treated in that game. Turn-based battles will occur on the map without random encounters, similar to games like Chrono Trigger or the more recent Chained Echoes. So with all of this in mind, let's have a closer look at the project. I have decided to develop the game in RPG Maker MV, a game development software that allows the users to develop old-style RPGs with little to no coding knowledge. And while I don't mind challenging myself to code games from scratch, as I did in the past in Godot, this time the decisive factor is time. Game development can be very time-consuming and energy-draining, and in general it is simply one of many different hobbies I have, and I'd like to strike a good balance between spending some time doing game development without without compromising other activities such as playing games, staying physically active, cooking, journaling, etc. Also, my current approach to game development is more keen to playing a game and enjoying the process rather than being hyper-focused on delivering a product. In fact, while the idea of fully releasing a game is quite exciting, um, working on small playable prototypes that I can then share with the community is already plenty enough for me, at least uh, at this point in my life. For similar reasons, I'm not going to draw the art for the game, but I've instead opted to purchase some tile sets that are already compatible with RPG Maker MV. And more specifically, for this project, I'm using the Time Fantasy pixel art assets from Final Boss Blues. I love his work and have already used some of the tile sets in some small projects in the past. Um, in particular, the Future Fantasy asset pack is perfect for this project, as it has not only great tile sets, but also fully animated character sprites. As for the turn-based combat system with on-map non-random battles, I'll be using the Chrono Engine plugin from Mug Hunter. This plugin drastically changes the way battles are handled in RPG Maker and is the ideal match to realize the combat system that I have in mind. This is not the first time I've talked or shown this plugin on this channel. I used it for a small RPG prototype that I filmed a short devlog for a couple of years ago. I was quite happy with how that short prototype turned out, and so I decided to take that project as a starting point for this new one. So I guess that video may count as survey devlog number zero. 
Okay, so now that we've had a look at what the game is going to be about, I'd like to share a little bit about my setup for game development. So as I mentioned briefly, we changed apartment and now in this new apartment, I don't really have a dedicated desk uh, or setup actually for game development. So it still is a little bit of a struggle. I use my computer, so there really isn't much to say about that. Uh, but there is something that I'd love to share with you, uh, which is my TV, which is right, uh, right here. So if I turn the TV on the side, you should be able to see um, RPG Maker MV. Okay, so this is what RPG Maker MV looks like on a big TV screen. And so what's very nice is that I mapped some keyboard keys to the PS5 buttons so that I can basically use RPG Maker MV uh, while being, you know, on the couch and looking at it as if I was playing a game uh, on the TV. Give you a bit of a demo here. Um, here I have a, a blank map and what I can do is I can go, I can go here on my, um, on my tile set on the side. I can scroll up and down. I can, um, here I can change the, the tile set and I can move around with the D-pad, which is very convenient. Um, if I select here, let's say, if I select here um, this tile set, for example, this tile, sorry, um, then I can use it to just, uh, to just draw. I can select um, the bucket tool and so, see, very easily I can start playing around uh, with the map. And so, yeah, while this tool is not, uh, you know, super convenient to, to, you know, to actually input code, if that is what you're looking, you know, to do, uh, it's, uh, this, I, I think this is very practical. Uh, it's very fun uh, to, to use, uh, to make maps. Um, so this is something that um, I've started to play around. It really does feel like I'm playing uh, RPG Maker MV the game, uh, or, you know, there's actually an RPG Maker uh, Switch version. I don't know if there is a PlayStation version, uh, but that is what it feels like. And then once I'm done with uh, making my scene, I, I can then, uh, you know, move back to, um, I can then move back to, uh, to my <laughs> kitchen table, I continue work there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just I wanted just to show you uh, what this uh, this setup looks like. It's uh, it's quite nice. Um, so I, I recommend it if you're looking you know if you don't have a second monitor and you're looking for uh, a way to you know do game dev but also keep it a little bit more fun. Uh, so. This is one option. Okay, now let's have a look at the very short uh, prototype that I have so far. I have basically uh, taken the previous prototype that I had from the project that I worked a little bit on two plus years ago, I don't know at this point. So far I only have one character that can move around and one map with a couple of enemies. Um, and the idea is to just play around a little bit with the tile set um, and sort of get the you know, get used to the tile set and uh, try to achieve uh, the feel that I'm looking for. So uh, here the combat is real time. Um, so as you can see here, I have on one side, um, on one side, I have this uh, time bar. Uh, this was part of uh, the plugin demo. So I haven't changed that. And um, I've set it up so that it's a traditional turn base. So once it's my turn, uh, time stops and I can choose my action. Right, right now I only have attack and I can decide to attack one of these three soldiers. Um, and I have animated the three soldiers. If I receive some attack, there is a damage animation. And if I uh, deal some damage, the soldier also has um, a, a damage uh, animation. Um, I haven't I haven't uh, reworked the UI yet, but that is really uh, on top of my priority list. I really want to uh, I really want to uh, rework uh, the um, the UI. So that is going to be one of the things that I 100% work on. Okay, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. But as you can see, it, it does work. Um, so so far, there really isn't much going on, uh, but but I like it. I like it. Um, and so I'm going to stay in this small map uh, still for a little while. I, I want to work on uh, the gameplay first. Um, and in the next video, I will uh, describe uh, a little bit more the, um, 
uh, the gameplay and a couple of ideas that I have uh, to make it, the gameplay uh, traditional, but also a little bit interesting. So this is all I have so far. I'm very, very happy to finally be back uh, to YouTube. It's been so, so long. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you soon with the, uh, with the next uh, devlog. Bye.